What are you doing here? This dude has the gall to ask me that. Hold up in my bathroom, looking like a fucking giant ass stupid army soldier. You scared the crap out of me. God. Here we go. Y'all already see the title? Y'all already know what this game is gonna be. Welcome back to Fears to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. We are still doing the Fears to Fathom gameplays because these were episodic series. Um, as I said in the last gameplay, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, they'll be up on the screen here. Um, Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, Carson House, Iron Bark Lookout, and that last one, which is the Getaway. Uh, I have downloaded that. Don't worry, there's like five episodes in this joint, but y'all knew that getting in. I even got a comment on my last one, like this is gonna be great. Like my experience is gonna be great. Great, that's giving me all kinds of good vibes. Like, I hope you guys have a great day. It's still early, so I apologize if I'm a little bit lackluster, low energy. Um, your boy just woke up not too long ago. Without further ado, let's dive in. Fears to Fathom, episode two. Norwood Hitchhike, June 16. I wonder who we're playing as this time. Last time we were a kid that was home alone. So I'm wondering who we're gonna play as this time. Oh, okay. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Ooh. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Yo, your boy fit loves those, okay? I've been to Dragon Con, like fucking AWA. Yo, I I mess with conventions pretty heavy, okay? I didn't go this year, but look, there were some things that happened, so I couldn't go this year, but I love them. I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. They're not lying. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. 12 hours? Bro. I would have just said no. I would have just dealt with the traffic, bro. 12 hours and a long way too? This is fears to fathom, by the way. Let's see who we are and what kind of mess we're in right now. Okay, I mean, I got the tunes. Aiden Williams. Hold up, who's texting me while I'm trying to freaking drive? Uh, You gotta do what you gotta do. It's not good people. Oh God, I should not be texting and driving. Hold on. That sucks. Again, you sure you're driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice. Could have left tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I mean, truthfully, Aiden wasn't wrong. I could have left tomorrow morning. But I was like, no, I'm gonna leave at night because why not? Let's add to the creepy factor a little bit. Also, who am I? I'm, I don't know. Drive safe Holly, this dad messaging me. Okay. Hold on, let me be on my side of the road. Cause I wanna, I wanna read, but I also, how you doing, man? Sir, ma'am? Okay, uh, drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. Okay, Holly. I mean, I could be a dude named Holly, though. I guess I'm I'm a baby girl, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't know. Look, it's 2024. Nobody should give a fuck anymore. All right, you know what? Drive safe. I, I gotta turn this a little bit up, which I shouldn't because this game's gonna probably scare the shit out of me. Dad just messaged me again. Dad, I'm driving, bro. I just told you. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Uh, still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. I mean, let me drive. Jeez Louise. All right, so far so good. That radio is like, I mean the music, th oh, what's that? Oh, that's gas, that's a gas light. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. <sighs> How every creepy freaking story starts. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Hold up. What? What is this song? Is this copyright? Pops just messaged me. Hold on, Pops. I, hold on, man. Let me just turn this curve at least. There's another one coming up. Give me a sec. Good evening. Uh, bro, somebody was just walking in the street. Uh, told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you get back. Hope you're feeling all right. Thanks, Pops. But you kind of, you kind of messed me up. I think this is the gas station we need to get to. All right, let's pull up. Where though? Does it matter? Pump one. Right. I guess we can kind of go pump one. See what? Let's just sit right here for now. So we don't know what pump we need. We might need one. We might need two. 
I mean, it looks like there's one and two and four and something. The game won't make you go to four and something, right? Bro, I saw somebody walking. Like, somebody walking. Oh, they got soda? They got cola? Hold up. I was too low on cash for that. Wasn't feeling it. Bro, you ain't got like a dollar some change? Bro, it's creepy as something. Let me get inside the store. I'm playing around. Like, these, like this is not a scary game. Hello? What's up, bro? Um, what's this? Oh, is this all the, oh, it's a vending machine. So I could, wait, I could mess with this vending machine, but not the one outside? Cola's still outside. Hold on, mom trying to talk to me. Holly? Mom? Question mark? All right, let me spread some of these out. Okay, so he's telling me I should take that late flight. Is he gonna give me money for it? He ain't just, I just said that shit's expensive. Now, if Pops wants to pay and come through, then I do it. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, I didn't even know there was somebody else in here. How you doing, man? You wanna talk to me? Uh, how's your night going? He just looked at me. Oh, okay. All right, I guess he's not really much of a people's person or talking. How you doing, man? Uh, oh, I could tell him what pump. Oh, I guess it's random. Is it pump two, really? I gotta get to pump two then. Ma'am, hi, can I get $10 on pump two? And I'm a, I'm a baby girl because he said ma'am. So now that gives me the voice to, you know. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Uh, the bridge? The Norwood Valley Broad, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Uh, I mean, I don't know, Joe. I mean, I don't, I kind of a peak, that kind of tickles brain me. What do you mean? For about a century now, people have been going missing down there, and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say that the Norwood Valley monster has torn them up and hung them upside down on trees? Well, we going from killer people to monsters? I mean, I... All right. Well, thanks for the gas. Appreciate you for that. Bro, you need help finding something? I can help you. Okay, I guess he don't need help. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just keep on the gas as hard as you can. Wait, who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, man. You good, man? He came all the way over here in my peripherals as I'm talking to this dude. That's rude. They just ain't. Okay, I appreciate the warning, I guess. Uh, hello? Hello? What he just, was he just by my car? Mom, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. Mom trying to freaking hustle me right now? Bro, I just saw somebody right by my shit. Okay, I just saw somebody buy my shit. I, I don't know if y'all seen it. I might have to like redo that shit in editing so y'all could see, but I saw somebody buy my car. Bro, all right, he better get ready to pay my insurance. I don't know what he did to it. I'm assuming he did some shit to it though. Is that dog food? Oh yeah, this is dog food, okay. I don't need the dow do. <laughs> need pot pat. Hey man, that'll be $5, ma'am. Sure, five bucks for pet food. That's a big bag too. Shoo. Uh, sweet. Get an ice cream now. All right. Where'd the dude go? Is he still in here? Or did he leave? Oh, he's still here. Okay. I ain't messing with him. You see, he ain't... You know what I mean? Thank you for the dog food, though. I appreciate you. All right. That's pump two right here. Okay, so I'm actually at the pump. Good. That's lucky. I was trying to stay in the middle shits. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, how do you drop again? Is it F? No, it's G. Okay. What was that? Uh, y'all remember back, like, I don't know if y'all still do, because even they got automatic joints now where you ain't got to really go inside. I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. Okay, thanks for that. Um, I don't know if y'all know, like, back in the day, y'all used to have to go in there and be like, hey, you get $10 on pump two, and they could put, put the exact amount in, and then it clicks, and when it's done, well, they have... They have um, auto shits where you can put your debit card in, and then you just run it until you don't want to run anymore. And, you know, that's... But I guess some places still probably do that. I mean, I don't know. All right, we on the road again. We on the road again. Ooh. Ooh. 
I don't want to bump into anybody. I think we're good. All right. Let's move, baby. All right, nobody text me. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What's that? Monsters truly do exist. I keep forgetting I'm a baby girl and I gotta talk like one. And every single one of them looks like you and me. Okay, all right, we back to that, that, uh, that, like, semi-country or classic rock music. Hey, what the fuck? Bro, did my lights just go off? Who just texted me? It's not expired or anything, right? Man, did I ask? You don't need to pay. Okay, she said that you don't need to pay me for it. All right, I thought that was talking to pause. I mean, I feel like I should have got him to pay for that plane ticket. Shoot. I would have took the plane. Uh, bro, my lights are acting funny. Was it that dude that was near my shit? Bro, if my car break down, I'm immediately assuming it's him. I swear. Because that man was literally by my car. All right, bro, he's just taking his time. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, man. I'm probably blinding this dude. Look. I'm sorry, man. He probably mad now. He's gonna be he gonna be the one to kill me. Watch, at least. Oh man, I'm all on the on the other side. Hey, you know what? What they say, man. I pay my taxes like everybody else, so I'm taking my taxes my tax portion out of the middle. Shoot, I pay my taxes. Okay, that creepy start, but this music is nice, bitch. I need to know who made this song. Uh, something's wrong with my radio. Oh, I must be losing service or some shit. That's all right. I mean, that's normal. You mean you lose you lose service out here. Ooh, ooh, I wasn't the best at driving. Okay, that's nice to say, but your freaking radio is acting stupid. Um, I'm like all over the road. I'm sorry. My, I need to turn that off. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's dark and my freaking lights just went off. Well, at least it used to be. Okay, you said something about it being therapeutic. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm like, my attention span is like on 100 right now. I'm not going to try to listen to no static all the way. I mean, how far do I have to drive? Whoa! I didn't want to hit that. What the hell was that? A bear? A rabbit? I don't know what that was. I heard a little bit of a growl in my ear. Damn, bro. No left. I mean, I kind of want to explore. Am I supposed to stop somewhere? There's this weird thing about that night. Oh, uh, I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Are you kidding me? Am I a baby girl? I wouldn't have to like sit here and do some damn road work right now? It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there, but I didn't think much of it at the time. What the fuck? My thing is, I would just, no, oh, see, those were heavy. I mean, obviously, they're logs, dude. Hello? I don't know. I hear some shit. I, I can't. I can't. I'm hearing some like whisk, good, like the ground, like the shit. Uh, can we drive? Are you serious? Do I have to open my hood? No? Okay. Maybe just gotta. My acceler it's my is it my accelerator? The car wouldn't start back up. Y'all see? I told you I saw somebody by my car in the gas station! And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. <sighs> I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whether that bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel slightly of unease. With this right now. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. I mean, that's obvious 101. But at the moment, I had no choice. Bruh. I was scared to think of how long it would take for someone to pass. Bro. Ten twenty three p.m. Bro, are you serious right now? This is what you should have. You should have paid for the freaking flight. You had money. You went to a convention. You didn't go broke like empty-handed. Hello? I saw a car nearing. Is it coming this way? Hey, bro. Oh. Okay. 
I didn't want to rest I rest in peace that early. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being being stranded like that. I mean, if they got the same story that that clerk was saying, they probably believed that hitchhike story too. Okay, well, that was just one guy. Oh, it's been 20 minutes later, 10.43 p.m. Y'all, ah. What a way to freaking wake up, for real. All right, 10.43 p.m. It's been 20 minutes later out here in these damn woods. I would have my cell phone on like a flashlight or some shit. It's dark. Like, come on. Hello? Do you want to pull over for me? Hello? No? Oh, wait. Did he? Oh, <gasps> yo, my savior. Wait a minute. Are you the homie that was at the gas station? Yeah, you're the girl from the gas station. I didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just near a stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get all my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. All right, bro. I appreciate. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, I did that like quick, like. <laughs> All right. Ooh, guys, I don't. I'm not a fan of this. I am not a fan of this. It's way too early. Look, I mean, no, I know in the game it's not. Can you do multiple shits? No. Oh yes, you can. Okay. I mean, I know I only have like two hands, so at the end of the day, right, let's put our shit here, real quick. There's two of them. She kind of strong to carry a suitcase in the bag in the other hand. I mean, that's, I mean it's a small, that's a small bag. You know what I'm saying? I guess certain ones you can grab and double. Yeah. I'm not sure why I can't just put the skateboard on top of the suitcase and kind of like carry them shit. Some shit. Uh, that's my skateboard. I got that from. I got that signed by Tony Hawk. We ain't gonna leave that ever. Damn man, this is like how every horror story does begin. Like literally, literally going in a party with the killer right now. Wait, I can't grab. What happened to my pet food? I can't grab my pet food. Bitch, grab the pet food. Do I? Ha I can't. So I can't double hand the, the pet food. I don't want to leave that. Milo ain't got food. Y'all know what I mean. You can't leave your dog without food. Do I have anything else? Make sure I'm not missing nothing. All right. Yo, these fears to fathom games got this this eerie shit you gotta worry about while playing it. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Leave a like. All right. Make sure to do that. Make sure all you do that. All of you, all of you that are watching right now, do that. Do that right now, so you don't forget. Like I'm telling you, so you don't forget. You know, you get so wrapped up in this, the game, I mean, you don't forget. All right, let's talk to homie and let's get move on. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. All right, hopping in. What's up, bro? All right. Don't look at him. I mean, don't be rude. I mean, he's giving you a ride. Don't be staring at him in his eyes. Like, ain't no need to. Just do your thing. You got a cell phone? You're going to play Candy Crush? Maybe Fruit Ninja? I mean, I don't know what kind of games they got on phones like that. Oh, so you won't tell me who you are and where you're going. Uh, I was driving home. And that piece of crap car, pretty much, broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Jason. Uh, I'm Holly. Yeah, just say your name. That's fine. I mean, he seems like he's just an awkward dude. I mean, I don't know. He seems kind of awkward. He said his name like he didn't have to. So, you know what I'm saying? This is the killer right here. I'm calling it right now. You're really lucky I had to be on this on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're a one brave young woman. Uh, how's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I really don't know. I mean, I do know there was a dude that was by my shit, drove off in a white van. I'm just saying that probably he has something to do with my car being messed up. It never broke down on me like that, ever before. It's my dad's, so it's pretty old. Yo. <laughs> just don't look at him. It's all right. Just keep looking ahead of you. Like, just, just keep... 
So what do you think about what I t what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Okay. Oh, I could just talk? Um. So, is it true? What? A monster? <laughs> Let's see. I've never seen the monster, but myself. For myself. But there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Um. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Bro, I don't know if I like that. I mean, if that's supposed to make me feel better, it, it really doesn't. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. Uh, I'm not the best with people. See? Okay, he, he probably ain't the killer. Unless he is the killer and he's trying to lull me in with a false sense of security. Now that is a possibility. Are you good, man? I, I appreciate this. He's giving me a ride. All right. 12.08 AM. Shoot. It's the next day. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. No! Oh, not a motel. Are you serious? Apparently, they offered a roadside assistance. Oh, have they offered roadside assistance? How cliche. I say cliche, but I don't know any freaking motel. There probably is out there that do offer roadside service. I apologize if I'm like not keen to the idea I live under a rock. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Bro, you hold up, man. Hey, hey, man, you don't. You got a couch like maybe I can stay at your place till the morning at least a motel. If you know, you know, hey, I got motel game plays on the channel. Motels, apartments recently. OK, check those out. Got a whole indie horror playlist that I've personally created to store all of these terrible cases. And terrible as in not terrible as in bad, but terrible as in terrible, scary. All right, let's just, oh, they got the same, the same machines over here. I wasn't feeling it. Okay, so, okay, so let me get this straight. You weren't feeling the cola machine, but there's a machine right here that sells cola and you're okay with spending the money. All right, this is all my shit. Okay, that is my shit. How you doing, man? Listen, let me close that door real quick. Whoa, the man putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Why you got these creepy paintings in here, man? You could have got some like pictures with color. I mean, I know that one's kind of colored, but I mean, no, not really. It's still like the dim shit. What's up, man? I see you got this Steve shirt on. You know, Steve from Blue's Clues. You got that kind of, you know, he had that shit. Y'all probably don't even know who Blue's Clues and what Blue's Clues is. Yo, need a room to shack up for the night? Um, how much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Bro, you don't take debit? All right, whatever. Luckily, I have forty dollars. Obviously, we ain't spend money in those freaking those machines. Room number nine, right over there. All right, can we talk about the car? Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it. It's the next thing in the morning. All right, appreciate you, bro. So I got my car paid for in a room. Good. I let Tommy know. And one last thing, I'm trying to wake the other guests. They might take very nicely to it. I mean, why would I wake them, bro? Don't, don't be ridiculous. You're crazy. I mean, he still look a little crazy. Can I, can I come around there? No? All right. No, he's just looking at me. Let me, go. Let me go. All we know is that guy could be the killer, okay? Can I grab my shit? No? Okay. I guess I got to get in my room first. <clears throat> what do you say? Room nine? Okay. So that's on the key. How y'all doing? I, I, I think I asked that. Did I ask that? Look, it's early. I, I'm nervous. Oh, hello? Uh, okay, dad messaged me. Let me spread these out a little bit so I can read them all in unanimous. Oh, yeah, look. Delivered, not delivered. Why are you not picking up the call? So he tried to call me at some point. All right. I never messaged mom back before I left the gas station. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Who, Aiden? Is Aiden the boyfriend or something? Or maybe the, like, friend? I mean, I don't know. Look, I, I don't know. Hello? Uh, all right, what's mine? Nine? Okay, this is mine. All right, it was nice and warm inside. Bet you it was. Can you open the drawer? Oh, okay. They got meds in the drawer? Oh, he, she said something else, and I overrode it because I was freaking being curious. Oh, they got the whole, like, auto lift and shits, like, back from chapter one. 
no Home Alone and nor like the freaking uh, Beers to Fathom. This ain't got no mattress. The fuck? Does this work? I mean, I guess I could say. Can I say something? No. Yeah, I don't know. What's this? Nope. Turn that shit off. This is my closet. Hello. Oh, I can go in here, bitch. Guarantee gonna have to at some point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Ah la 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 la. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to shut the fuck up. I apologize in advance. Is this my sink? Oh, they got the sink out here. That's unusual. This is the bathroom. Oh! <laughs> this dude. What are you doing here? This dude has the gall to ask me that. Hold up in my bathroom, looking like a fucking giant ass stupid army soldier. You scared the crap out of me. That is the pretty accurate response to what I'm actually feeling right now. Hey, hey, hey. Bitch, what's the. That's not funny. I'm Tommy, Rood Service, here at the side of Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Bro, can you tone down the creepy laugh? I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. I mean, just ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, siree, Bob. Hold on, let me close my door. Look, I, I don't know what's dangerous anymore, or what's gonna kill me. And I, I. They got the closet with the audio shit. I, all right, let me grab my shit real quick. I really need some energy soda. Oh, now you want soda? Didn't want it. Bro, you just said you wanted soda. I was too low on cash for that. What the fuck? So, okay. So what, did the other machine cost too much? Is that is that what she's? Okay, collect your item. Was that it? Is she good? So I had the money to buy one out of that machine, but not the, oh, maybe the other machine was a little bit more. I mean, I don't know, look. I ain't got no money to my name right now, okay? Ooh, you out now. Okay, I got a mattress now too, so that's good. Is that a newspaper? I'm gonna read that when I get back. Shoot. What you got to say? I had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. If need anything, we've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Let you have a good night. Okay. Bro, did you have to like commander walk? Oh, okay, you didn't have to close the door. I still have to get my shit. I'm not done getting my shit. Ooh. Ugh. I got chills. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got chills. I'm gonna grab the rest of my stuff. All right, both my bags. Is this your car right here, Tommy? I'm assuming this is your shit. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Whoa. All right, I think he's gonna go get my shit. I appreciate you, Tommy. Am I trying to sleep? Am I in my bathroom? I heard something to my left. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Is somebody in my bathroom? Tiredness coming from by anxiety. Bro, I thought a hot cup of coffee would help. I thought to myself. Bro, I heard like a like somebody was in the bathroom. She wants some coffee? Dude, there was just somebody out here. Are you serious? Reserve for roadway in. Okay. Bro. Okay. You know, there was a white van that was by my car earlier. So, I mean, there's no white vans really here. So I'm assuming that the killer is not really here, at least not yet. 
if he is the killer. I mean, I don't know. Where's the coffee machine? Bro, where's your coffee machine at? What's up, man? Where's your coffee machine? Right over there, room number nine it is. Okay, I, I, I want to know where the coffee machine is. All right, whatever. I'll look for it myself. I know these are the vending machines. So maybe it's like in one of these little outlets. I, mean, I don't know. Let's see. There's not one over there in my area. So, wait. There we go. I think this is one. Hello? Somebody's watching some TV. That's all. Uh, do we need an espresso? What else can we get? Cappuccino? Oh, we can't get French vanilla and hot chocolate with milk. There ain't nothing in this damn coffee machine. Damn. All right, well, I guess we'll take the espresso if we had to choose. All right. Let's drink up. Let's drink up real quick. Let's juice up. I don't know why we'd have this at night. We ain't gonna sleep. All right, I guess we head back to our room because freaking... Uh, my, did my game just cut off? What just happened? No, my game didn't cut off. I'm hearing some shit. Yo, what's happening, bro? Am I on acid? Oh my, the controls are weird. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Pops just messaged me. Pops, I can't really answer texts right now. Where's my apartment? Oh, that's eight. Okay. My motel room is here. It's nine. Bro, get me in here. I don't even know if I was supposed to do it in time. I'm fucked. Woo. What the fuck? What do I do? Do I go wash my face? No? Oh no. I am I am busted. Hold on. Do I just lay down? Just lay down. Just lay down. Just lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Bro, I hope I locked my hotel room. Three eighteen AM. I was sedated? From a coffee machine? How? How? My phone's ringing. They said that that phone was broke. Bitch, what is that? Answer that. Hello? Is that some kind of cat purring? Okay, I gotta check my text. Can I still not see my text? Was that my door? Oh, it's the homie from the front. Okay. Uh, who is it? Okay, it's Joe. What's up, bro? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? Bro, what? Have, I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? What goofy noises, bitch? I literally, what goofy, unless I was making them while I was sedated, I was sedated. Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? No, oh, mention the coffee machine. Okay, are you messing with me? The fuck, what do you mean? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, here, I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. All right, bro, you know what? I don't like you being rude to me right now. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, here, right here. This is the, uh... This is where it was. Oh, it's not here. Bruh. It was right here. Was it not? Am I bugging? It was by four. Uh. Bruh, I. Go back to the room. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. What do you mean? What happened? 
I said go back. Now. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. By the TV? Okay, but... There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Okay. So Joe... Joe changed his whole demeanor just then. Tell me he knows something that we don't. Already has medication in that room too? Set up? Oh no, man. He told me not to get out either. Bro, can we turn on some lights? All right, is this my sink? All right. Not sure why my sink is not in the bathroom, but hey, you know, hotels are different. I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Damn, bitch, I'm pumping them in my mouth like Tic Tac. How's my eyes? Can I see my text now? Yes, I can. Uh, I told you to take the flight. Hold on, reader, read the chats. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get anything else. I thought dad messaged me. Did he not message me? Okay, we'll close that drawer. Do I gotta just go back to bed? Did y'all see that flash? No fucking way. Uh-uh. You're joking with me. Hello. Hello. Yo, I'm about to hide in this closet, bro. Hello? Who is it? I'm not gonna open the door. Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Do nothing? Open the door? Bro, I'm not opening. He just said not to leave my room. That's literally what the owner said. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Oh my God. Bro. Nope. Open that. Is he? Is... Please go away or I'm calling the cops. <gasps> oh shit! Nope, nope, nope. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager in fear not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. <laughs> Those are music on the radio. Okay, those three. <sighs> oh my gosh. Bro. A 
game by rail. Okay, look, I... That shit... Oh, what, I couldn't say a word? I'm glad that I went in the closet preemptively and then saw the little mic shit because if I went in there just blah, 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 the whole time, I bet he would have killed me. And there's no... If the last episode was anything to go by, if you died, you'd have to do the whole shit over. Um, Y'all... Comments, comments, concerns. What do y'all think? Was that a great episode? That was pretty damn good. Do these episodes get even better? Bro, we got Carson House next. Oh, fuck me. All right. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the content that was displayed today. Check my channel for more videos that I've done. The previous episode. I think I'm going to make a new playlist for those because I think the Fear, Fears to Fathom deserves their own playlist. Okay, so I will keep a play. Or, matter of fact, this is only five episodes. I just put them at the indie horror. It's fine. There. So, thank you guys so much for watching that. And uh, I already said that. And always, I'll see. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I didn't say that. I'm fucking up my outro. I want to apologize. I'm still flustered. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Take care, lovelies. And always be cautious of where you stay the night. I recall saying that in the last motel game we played.